with the wind chills, we've seen values below negative 40, and that's why you're seeing that extreme cold warning out. It's been extremely cold here in Winnipeg, but let's see how cold it actually has been. I have boiling hot water here in this bottle. I'm gonna pour it in this glass here. You can actually see the steam coming out already. And I'm gonna throw it up and it should actually evaporate. So let's let's do a test run here. Let's see how cold it actually is. Okay, three, two, one. That's how cold it is here in Winnipeg. This, just another indicator of how cold it is. During one of my takes, the handle of the coffee mug I was using snapped off and shattered on the ground. In the minus 30s and 40s, anything can freeze in seconds. We did another test just to confirm this. I poured hot water on a towel, whipped it around, and after only about 20 seconds, I was able to rip the freezing towel apart easily. All this is possible due to the polar vortex that hit Canada last week. That high pressure system that was behind that front has slowly been moving its way down through the prairies, and right now it's right over top of Winnipeg. Meteorologist Janelle Gurgley says it's important to cover up any exposed skin, as frostbite in these temperatures could happen within minutes. Stay inside if you need to bring in your pets if you need to um, it's very cold and it can happen really very quickly thursday is groundhog day amidst manitoba's extreme cold weather the province's groundhog manitoba merv saw a shadow meaning we do have six more weeks of winter in store for us here in manitoba <laughs> Groundhog Day didn't go on script across Canada this year. Quebec's groundhog died before he was able to reveal his prediction, but volunteer children stepped in and predicted six more weeks of winter, as did Nova Scotia and the United States. Ontario and Alberta, however, were the opposite, as their furry friends called for an early spring. Jacques Bourgeois from Oak Hammock Marsh says these predictions are generally accurate, as Manitoba Merv has been wrong only once in his 29 years of service. He predicted an early spring, I think it was in the year of 97 and we had that big snowstorm in April and we had the big flood following that so that's the only year he's been wrong. Warmer weather is on the horizon across the country including in Manitoba but is this the end of a cold snap this winter? Gurgly says no. It's early February there's still lots of chances for Arctic air to plunge its way back down into the prairies. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpacity News.